Oh, 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 what a nightmare. Oh, I thought for a minute that we were Vincent Brooks and we just faced his shadow demon. Oh, wait, that's exactly what we did. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Catherine Full Body. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer. It is time to re-enter the life of Vincent Brooks. Find Rin, our one true love, and uh, maybe deal with his uh, his deep-seated issues. Sleep. Nightmares just keep going. Mm -hmm. I had a dream where I felt dead. Ah, you too, huh? Struggled, like I was being chased by something crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, are you listening? Hey, Orlando. Man, we've had these crazy dreams every night. So how come we can't remember them clearly? Ah, finally asking the real question. Why don't you mention it? If we're all having the same dream. Just, I can't shake this feeling. I, uh, I can't remember. The series of mysterious male deaths continues with another gruesome discovery this morning. Oh god, who died? Local dentist Steve Delome, age 42, was found dead at his home. Steve! Steve? His wife, Steve's dead. He's dead, Jim. Vincent, are you finally, uh, finally putting two and two together? Hey, uh, you all right, man? Whoa, that dead guy on the nose just now, I know that guy. What does two plus two equal, Vincent? Yes, it equals Steve. Oh, God, it was so loud. That sounds like a bad way to start the morning. That bastard was cheating on his wife with a younger woman. The entire neighborhood knew because he bragged about it to everyone. What a gotta feel bad for the so he was also a cheater. Oh, they didn't have any kids. But still, what a horrible man. Hey, what is it? We met last night. In my dream. Huh? Met who? I remember now. It was him. He died in my dream. Him? The guy in the news? <laughs> That's crazy talk, man. What did he say? Is it so crazy, though, Orlando? That's right. It's, it's starting to come back to me now. He said it was a curse. Because he betrayed someone. Hey, cut that out. You're trying to tell me he was killed in his dreams or something? You are fucking crazy. Well, maybe not. Think about it. The rumor? Maybe it's true. The dreams we've been having every night. Did you honestly just say that? How does this tie in with betrayal? I'm the one that got betrayed. Yeah. Yeah, so you so, said in our dream? Enough bullshit. We just can't think straight because we're too damn tired. We wake up all bleary eyed and the world's full of rumors. Then we can't sleep because all this crazy shit's stuck in our heads. Y you're probably right. Exactly. I mean, Orlando does have a point, but I, I get the feeling he just doesn't want to admit to the truth. I was the one who was betrayed. He's scared. So why is. Fuck. I didn't mean to bring that up. I was, I was just thinking. Ah, uh, it's all stupid. Yeah. <sighs> what about you? You still feeling what you said yesterday? Yeah. I'll talk to that girl and put an end to it. And then I'll tell Catherine the truth. I doubt she'll forgive me, but I'll apologize as much as it takes. Whatever she needs, I'll handle it. Whatever she needs, except marriage, right? That's. That's bold, man. <laughs> I know it's selfish, but is it really any better to keep dragging her along when my heart's just not in it anymore? Nah, he's right. I'll do right by her. If she needs child support, I'll even take a second job. I mean, if I don't carry my weight, I have no right to run off with Rin. Yeah, if you're serious, man, I'm not gonna stop you. Go on and face the music. Uh, she's gonna kill me. Well, at the very least, at least Vincent's willing brutal. to take uh, responsibility. Don't worry, I'll take care of the body. Oh shit! Oh good, thanks. Thanks, man. Nice to know you'll bury my corpse if I need you to. God damn it! Oh, we got such great friends. Hey, what's up with Vincent over there? Just leave him alone. Don't get messed up and all that. Oh, hey, there's something I wanted to tell you. Check this out. Yesterday. I finally became a man. Wait, what? Got rid of my V card. Boom. Uh, way back up. With who? Take a wild guess. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, Toby, you sweet America. summer child. Yep, bingo. 
sorry I got to her first, man. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, but there was something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. It's probably just because it was my first time. Maybe, you know, just my imagination, but... So, so what happened to Johnny? You come here by yourself? <laughs> oh, he yeah, does not, not want to there. talk about this. Yeah, looked pretty bad earlier. <sighs> I see. Kind of weird everyone's tired all the time, huh? Benson's infected us, damn it. Ugh, I'm getting a headache. Come on, Toby. Let's head out. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you see... I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> so then there's someone else, isn't there? Yeah. I've been meaning to tell you all this time, but I couldn't. I had a lot of things on my mind, and then you came along. I guess I was just trying to escape reality. Look, I, I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, you're just gonna say, okay. hmm? So what? What? What do you mean, so what? What? It's fine. I already knew you liked someone else. As long as I'm your number one, you can have your fun. Wait, what? N no. Well, you might not mind. Gur I Girly, I don't think you're why? hearing what I'm why? dropping. What do you mean, why? I I'm trying to be the good guy here. I want to stay faithful. Do you have a kid or something? Actually, um, well. Yeah, but that's with someone else. What? Wait, who is this about? Well, <laughs> oh, we looked at the piano. <sighs> wow, I see. Fine, let's break up. Are, are you sure? I'm glad you understand. Well, I'm off. Bye. What? She wait, she gave up so way too that's who caused easily. All this. What? Wait, whoa, what was with that line? Okay, she gave up way too easy. I'm counting on you to handle it. Huh? Of course. What? You? Excuse me? Okay, then. That's not what I was expecting. Ring-a-ding-ding. Catherine. Oh boy. Well, here comes number two. Well, we did take care of the first problem. Hey. It's progress. Something I want to talk to you about. Oh, I'm sure I there is. I have something to tell you, too. <sighs> it's bad news, isn't it? Um, yeah. That being the case, let's discuss in person tomorrow. All right. I'll see you then. All right. Come to your apartment in the morning. Oh, but I should at least tell you this. I'm not pregnant. Uh, oh. Good night. Huh. Well, I mean that guess that takes you a big a load off our shoulders, but still. Oh, I don't regret the path I chose. We'll just have to deal with the consequences. That you will, my friend. And you've started, so at the very least I can sort of respect that. But that whole that whole exchange between Catherine with the C and Boss, that is, uh, hmm, that is an interesting, interesting dilemma. Soon, once everything's over. Yeah, soon, my friend. Soon you will have your sort of freedom, well, I suppose. Up, here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Ah, booze dad, I've Flare missed you. bartending is the practice of entertaining customers with acrobatics, such as juggling bottles while making a cocktail. The word flair originally came from the French word for fragrance, but in modern day, it is used to convey elegance and style. It's so wonderful that they not only provide a cocktail, but a performance as well. Flair bartenders are so cool that they steal many a heart, even without the influence of alcohol. Stealing hearts? Oh, you better be careful what you say. If you were planning to take your date to a bar, it may be best to go to one that employs bartenders without flair. <laughs> what, you think they're gonna steal you, steal your girl? That while you do that? Mr. Steal Your Girl? 
Uh, I mean, I guess it's uh, not necessarily impossible. Take your order. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. I remember a time, and since I'm thinking about this, we'll get some sake okay. next. I went to a uh, hibachi grill with uh, with GGK. It's uh, Sorry, a year or two ago, I think. She had never been to one. What's tough is oh. tough. I'll treat you to a drink. Hope you rest easy tonight. Oh well, thanks, Erica. I appreciate it. Uh, it was uh, her first time ever at a hibachi grill, and for those who don't know what a hibachi grill is, it's the it's the grill where they make the food basically in front of you on the big flat top grill. They sort of do tricks while they make it. Um, it's really kind of it, it's fun. It's it's a big spectacle, uh, and some you can usually get some pretty decent food out of it. I remember she she had never been to one before, and hiding anything from me. The guy had her pretty much mesmerized <laughs> while he was cooking the food. Eventually so much so that uh, he, he 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 really got her good when he started squirting sake into everybody's mouth at the table. Holy crap, just taking a bottle and just like squeezing it from like what like eight feet away into people's faces. Oh it was a good time. For those who do have never been to a hibachi grill, I highly recommend it. It is it is good fun. They can be kind of expensive, though. But here is some trivia about sake for you, as you seem to have finished your cup. Masuzake is served in a square wooden box. Ah, yes, I've always wanted masuzake. One might assume that it's best to drink from a corner of the box. However, the proper way is to sip from one of the straight edges. This is because there is a pinch of salt on the right corner. Japanese sake is made with passion and devotion, and should be enjoyed in a sophisticated manner. And that was the sake trivia for tonight. Ah, fair enough. Good information for all of us alcohol lovers out there. Uh, yes, keep drinking, yeah. please. <laughs> I need uh, I need myself some uh, some beer next. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Erica. I appreciate it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, now that we have our beer, why don't we take a quick walk around? As you can also hear, the music has changed in this whole place. Uh, so far, it's just us and the uh, old biddies over here. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Yes, hello. <laughs> I'll tell you a wonderful story. Over 70,000 people die of unknown causes every year in this country. How is this a wonderful story? Of those deaths become clear after an autopsy. Still not good. Uh, okay. These current deaths are part of the remaining 95%. There are probably more men who are dying in that way than we are being told. Really? I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hmm, of course you would be. You got a mail. God damn it. These women don't know the meaning of good or exciting news. Ah, thank you for that reward. The experience, uh, what, the experience Enigma? Is going to the stages of the nightmares proving to be unsatisfying? You can earn prizes by finishing stages with a high score. Gold prize is the best. More earning a high score than spending uh, speed through the stages. You need to pick up coins and gold bars along the way. Y you really? Y you're going to tell me this is now a game? We're basically towards the end. <sighs> Tomorrow on our walk. Thanks for everything. Oh. Jeez. Uh, she knows what's coming, man. She totally knows what's coming. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Yikes. That's a big yikes from me. Oh, God. I hate the fact that she knows. <laughs> oh, there's no, uh, there's no getting out of this one, my friend. You are ain't weaseling your way out of nothing, Vincent. Just drink your beer. Mm. Oh, don't regret the path I chose. And enjoy the ride. Oh, man. I am very curious to see where this story goes. So, I have... I'll, I'll mention it again. I did play the original quite a few years ago. Here is some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your pint glass. But I have not yet done the Rin route, and all of this is going to be new to me. Most beer is brewed from barley. However, did you know that some types are made from wheat? Wheat beer. Ah, uh, wheat beer. To it. I love vice beer. Any sort of impact will cause wheat beer to foam, so it's best not to drink it straight from the bottle. I mean, he's not wrong. I, you could still drink it right from the bottle. It's not a big deal. Just to be careful. Don't don't slam your beer down on the table, folks. That's a quick way to make a mess. Instead, pour it gently into your pint glass. And that was the beer trivia for the night. Empty. Thanks, Booze Dad. We got one more alcoholic beverage to consume. You still want a drink? Yeah, give me give me yeah. a glass of your finest vintage, my dear. Oh, 
Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, Erica. You, my dear, are a peach. I thank you for all of your continued support and getting me my boozy drinks. Wait, wait. Let's just polish off this glass. Look, Vincent. No matter what those two do. No matter what those two do. Well, I mean, as far as we're aware, we've dealt with one of them. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine. Now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know about the patron saint of wine? In Christianity, he is regarded as its protector. His name is Saint Vincent. Every year, the good people of France celebrate the anniversary of his sainthood. <laughs> How ironic. If only a certain drunkard would protect something other than alcohol. And that was the hey. trivia for tonight. That was rude. Empty? You still... Nah, we're good. No. No more need for alcohol. Let's just uh, speak to a couple people and... I suppose be on our way. Also, maybe take a look at the ATM. At least we don't have to worry about child support, right? How do I live like this? I need to have at least enough money to keep Rin safe. Well, yeah, I guess we're gonna start thinking of other uses of our money now. Still no sign of her, though. Times like these, I miss hearing Rin play. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow is the day. So you ended things with that girl you were cheating with, huh? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to talk to Catherine. She'll probably be hurt, but I can't run from this. You need to be honest with your feelings. If you can do that, I'm sure Catherine will understand. She's just that kind of person. You think so? I think she's pretty scary. That's just me. You need to face her. And yourself. You can always ask me for advice. I'm your relationship counselor after all. <laughs> okay, Mom. <laughs> What should we do? The witch is apparently a classmate of ours. Huh? What? Where did you she hear this? The same school we did at the same time. The school regulations, the teachers, that dance party. It all makes sense now. What the hell have what you, you been smoking? About? Man, I never realized it. Oh, I see now. In our school. You sure look like you're having fun. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I, I don't even know what you're talking about anymore, Erica. You, 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 you have lost the plot. Seems you've been awfully busy. To love, forgive, and forget are life's three great trials. To borrow a line from a certain someone, which one will you choose, I wonder? The choice is clear. I've made up my mind. Well, so we say. Ah, look at that. The day is continuing. Ren's doing. Uh, not that I really expect an answer. She gonna pick up? Hello. She did. Hey, I, I didn't think you'd pick up. Ren, I'm so sorry. Ren, are you okay? I didn't understand you, and because of that, I hurt you. I don't expect forgiveness, but I want to tell you something. Just wait a little longer, so I. Vincent. Yes. Be careful of the nightmare. Huh? What? Rin? Rin? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what's going on here? We just got like a direct warning from her, too. Are you the type of person who chooses the more difficult path? A masochist, by any chance? Yeah, what the? What are you saying to me, boss? I think so. The pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. To borrow a lot from a certain someone. I hope you find joy and overcome your pain. Huh. I hope so too. I feel like this is a threat more than anything else. Oh, it's late. I don't feel well. I guess I should go home. Well, for once, I suppose we're just going to agree to do this immediately. Do you think it'll all work oh. out? What? <laughs> well, the true test is after this, isn't it? <laughs> How will you get the hell out of here, you little demon child? I don't need this from you. Oh, hey guys. Heather, the wrestlette? She's on a losing yeah? streak because of the injury she took in a previous match. Hmm. Really? I didn't think you followed that sport. I don't really. But you haven't been making any bets recently. That's because the only thing other people are betting on is women's wrestling. I don't really enjoy seeing women beating on each other like that. Oh, is that why? So, I was worried about you for nothing. Well, it's not like I have any money either. <laughs> be worried. Please be worried. 
<laughs> Wallet Coon is quite empty Man, at the moment. Once you start watching women's pro wrestling, it's hard to stop. Powerful women are so cool. I wonder if I could get in. I uh, no thanks. I, I'm oh, good. Oh, I think I'm pretty strong. I bet you are. Unless you're into painful relationships. Actually, I wouldn't mind being stomped on. In fact, I might even. Okay, that's enough out of you. Never. <laughs> nope. Never. <laughs> If <laughs> we just like, nope, I don't need this anymore. Continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Anthony Jackson, age 29, has been found dead today. Steve Delhomme, age 42. Steve, is she been my dreams? The voice on the phone, I think. That concludes our coverage for now. Yeah, now, looks like we got a. Uh... We're in for some rain starting Looks like we got lucky afternoon. though. Make sure you've got your umbrella. No more deaths of people we know. Well, apart from Steve, I guess. Maybe we finally stopped the curse from killing people we know. <sighs> well, time to face the music. Hey, you okay? No, oh, I'm fine now. It's okay. I look bad, but I have a feeling I'll be able to sleep well tonight. That's good to hear. And I'm sure Rin will be back soon. Yeah, you're right. See ya. I will see you tomorrow. That's a promise. Uh, excuse me? <sighs> we just finding it difficult to go to sleep, I wonder. Or is it Wait. Is it the morning? No Still new messages. No reply from Rin. Great. Hold on. Hold on, it's the morning. That's weird. I didn't have a nightmare last night. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Without Ren, what's the point? <sighs> Excuse me? No nightmare? What is that noise? Wait, is Ren back? Uh, okay, I can finally say it. Ren, there's something that I need to tell you. What? You found out sooner than I expected. I figured this was why you wanted to break up with me. Then I couldn't have that. So, you know, I took care of the problem. What have you done? And you know what else? As a thank you for betraying me. I'm gonna kill you too! What the hell? Oh, welcome back. What? Something wrong? What? Ren was killed and... Oh no! Someone beat me to it. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Oh no! Come on, I always knew. You've been cheating on me with two different people, no less. Why couldn't you be happy with just me? Am I really that undesirable? Oh shit! No. She's got an axe, bro. It's not. She's oh, got an axe to grind. Oh, okay, Catherine. No, I'm perfectly calm. I know exactly what will happen if I bring this axe down. Hold on, can we just bury the hatchet, please? Vincent? I'll never forgive you for choosing that thing over me! Oh god, I'm stuck between a pointy thing and another pointy thing. What? Enough of this. Don't worry, I'll kill you before she does! <laughs> Another thing in my way? You're the one in the way! <laughs> what the hell is your problem? Get out of here, you old hag! Calm down! Both of you just... <sighs> <sighs>
Oh shit, she won. Vincent. <laughs> You're next. You hear what I'm saying? I'm gonna kill someone you really care about. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? <gasps> now you show yourself. This way. <sighs> Hurry, you won't get away. Oh. <sighs> hold up. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Nightmare. We've just got to reach the top. What the hell is going on? Oh, Rin, you're hurt. Oh, don't worry, it's nothing. I'll follow your lead. I mean, okay? <laughs> what? What the hell just happened? Last stage of the cathedral. Welcome to the cathedral. Is that a UFO? Wait, I see a fucking UFO up there. What? This final stage requires you and Rin to reach the goal together. Carefully lead the way to allow you both to escape this challenge. I mean, sure! I won't let you get away. Huh? I'll kill you both. Oh, she's scary. <laughs> this is it. Let's hurry. I, yeah. I mean, okay, sure. Catherine. Catherine has appeared. Oh, not oh God. Rin, come with me. Come, come with me, please. For the love of God. Uh, yeah, come, come, come up this way. Come here. Come on, don't be too slow. For the love of God, don't be too slow. Uh, maybe if we just keep going? Yeah, she'll, she'll catch up eventually. Right? At least that's the hope. Oh shit, all right, uh, uh, uh. Keep coming this way. Rainy's still coming? Good, she's still there. Oh man. This has certainly gone in a direction I was, uh, I, I can't say I was expecting. Oh, I screwed that up. Phew! <laughs> Woo! Okay, I just sneezed. I have to remember to edit that out later. <laughs> I just let out a big old sneeze. Uh, balls. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Come this way, come this way, come this way. Here I am looking at the left side of the screen, looking to try to get it that way. And of course, the only correct choice is this way. All right, come here. Follow me. Uh, can you do this at all? I wonder. Wait, no, come back down. Come back down. That's a dumb way to go. This is the way we should go. Holy crap, I almost made a horrible mistake. Uh, excuse me? Is she stuck? Oh, she got stuck. What the hell happened here? Come this way. There we go. What the? Why the hell did she stop moving? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I know what happened there. I blocked her path. Oh, that's probably why she stopped moving. There was no path to me anymore. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, we did it. <sighs> we made it. Oh, I hear her piano. Red, we're almost there. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah. I know I reacted poorly when I saw you that day. But I'm over it now. I want to be with you, Ren. I, I realize how important you are to me. Vincent. Come on. <laughs> oh. Watch out. Too bad. What? You're mine. Whoa. Don't worry about me. You have to go. I can't do that. You made me happy. I got to hear your true feelings. It means the world to me. I'm glad I saw you one last time. No! Thank you. Ren!
Well, that just happened. That just happened, and I honestly don't know how to feel about it. What the hell? God, that cutscene was was extremely different too. Yeah, gee, thanks, Creepy McCreeper. Oh my lord. When we come back with some more Catherine Fullbody, I want some resolution to this, god damn it! What happened to Rin? What happened to that nightmare? What happened to me? Oh god, all this and more in the next one. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below and uh, check me out on Patreon. A dollar a month goes a long way to keep me this channel up and running and more content like this for all of you to enjoy. The life of Vincent Brooks will continue in the next video. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I'll see you guys then.